In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure sample tank to work with key stage. Now, the first thing you need to do is activate this live mode, which is this eight squares on the top left corner. In this mode, sample tank becomes a multi tremble instrument. Now, before I go on, I want to adjust some of the parameters on the settings menu. Now, the first thing that I want to adjust is this program change channel. So this should be Omni, which means that sample tank can receive program change signals from any channel. The MIDI controllers should be on so that I can control the parameters of sample tank. And auto sleep should be off because this might cause some glitches during live performance. And background studio should be on. Now, in, in this mode, I have eight parts. And on each part, I can choose a different instrument by tapping here. So suppose I choose a grand piano for the first instrument. And so I can activate these by tapping on the numbers here on these parts. Let's choose another instrument. Let's choose an organ for, for the part two. I can activate these parts and deactivate them by tapping on them. So when it's red, it's activated. And now if I play my keyboard, which sends MIDI signals on channel one, I can hear the piano sound. So this, this is directly connected to the first part, the piano part. I don't want that. I, I want to roll every single through key stage. So in order to cut this direct connection, I want to start the first part from MIDI channel two and the second part, uh, MIDI channel three and adjust all the parts accordingly. So I configured the channels of all parts, starting from channel 2 up to channel 9. Let's choose another instrument for the third part. Let's say string orchestra 2. Now if I play my keyboard, I don't hear any sound because the keyboard sends signals through channel 1 and sample deck doesn't have any parts with channel 1. Now I switch to key stage and create a track here. For my MIDI input, I choose X key air. And for the output, I choose sample tank. So I start from channel 2. So if I select channel 2 here, I can hear the piano sound. Now let's create a copy of this track and change this to channel 3. Now this controls the organ sound. And if I create another track with again sample tank on channel 4, these are the string sounds. So now I have access to all these sounds from, from key stage. Like I can create tracks with different instruments. So far so good. Now let's get back to sample tank. Now let's save this song to a preset on sample tank. So I tapped on this new song. And so there are two types of presets. They are called multis in sample tank. They have, we have this demo multis or demo presets and the user ones. So I have already created a bunch of songs here on the user presets. And here is the new song. So if I tap this button next to this plus button, the current setup is saved on, onto the new song. If I tap edit and tap on the new song, I can change its name. Let's name song one. So you can save your songs into multis on sample tank. And you can change these from key stage by sending program change messages. And program change zero corresponds to the first preset here, which is preset one, build me up. And program change one corresponds to, so it's actually shifted by one. So for example, if I send program change number six, it activates the song Merciless Times uh, on, on the seventh slot. So if I select this part and choose program change six here, Merciless Times is activated. And for example, on the second part, if I say program change 11, the 12th song Take the Time is activated. So now if I change my section here to the first section, again, the Merciless Times is activated. So what I can do now here is create an instrument preset for sample tank. I go to instrument presets and I tap create new instrument and I name this sample tank. Now I want to assign this instrument presets to this sample tank connection, MIDI connection on key stage. So I go to MIDI connections, choose sample tank CS as the instrument. I choose sample tank instead of the default instrument. So now if I choose a part here, you can see the sample tank instrument here. Now I can create my instrument patches for, for these songs. I first need to create a group, let's just say default. So you can, you can actually categorize your songs into different groups here. I just choose default and I create a new patch. So the program change six that corresponds to merciless times. And I create another patch and now this time I'm gonna choose program change 11. And sample time doesn't care about bank select numbers, MSB or LSB. And this was take the time.
So now you can change the instrument by simply selecting the song names here. Now finally I want to control some of the parameters on sample tank. So let's uh, activate our song, song 1 and select the first part here. Now if I tap this MIDI button here, you can see that there are some control change numbers already assigned to these parameters. Uh, so cutoff frequency corresponds to the control change number 12. And if I change the instrument here, you realize that these parameters control change numbers never changes and also the reverb level never changes. You can't control reverb time, it doesn't allow you to control reverb time. But these other parameters have some control change numbers assigned. But unfortunately, you can see that 75 assigned to chorus on, on this new instrument, whereas 75 is assigned to distortion on this heavy metal organ. So what I suggest you to do is create parameters only for these default parameters, cutoff frequency, resonance, attack time, release time, volume, and pan. And you can also assign parameters for transpose, but you don't need that in key stage because you can control the transpose in key stage already. So what I want to do is create parameters for these default parameters and create parameter for the, for the reverb, which is 91. So I go, go back to key stage and I start adding parameters, slider parameters. So the first one is cutoff and this was control change number 12. So I added all these parameters here. So if I play on the screen, I control the parameters here. So this is attack time. So this is cutoff frequency. So pan. So I can control all these parameters from key stage now. One final thing. Every time you create a new song, these channels are automatically resetted starting from channel 1 to channel 9. So if you don't want to customize all these channels every time you create a new song, I suggest that instead of creating new song, you tap edit, tap on the song, this number here, and then just duplicate it. So let's name this song 2. So now song 2 is just a copy of... Sorry, I should press done here. Now song two is a copy of song one. And then choose your instruments on song two. Now all the channel numbers are automatically starting from channel two to channel nine.